Yo, what's up guys? As you can see, Tezos is finally moving again. And we are currently up from this previous low around $4.26, right now about 30%. So yeah, we had, um, since we topped out right here around $9.16, we had a huge downtrend for a couple of weeks actually, for about, yeah, for about two or three months. You can see we've been trading in this huge downtrend channel and it seems like right now Tezos is getting back, back finally some momentum. And um, I was accumulating and buying actually a lot of Tezos right here at this area around $5, $4.97, $5. And I called it also my Discord chat, guys. I can show it to you right now, one moment. As you can see, when we've been trading at this area around $5, I was telling my people in my chat, Tezos big buy opportunity, it's down 45% from the top and currently trading at significant support and demand zone, definitely more upside than downside potential. And yeah, guys, as you can see, I was accumulating right here and right now I'm already up about 10% on, um, on my investment on Tezos and I think I'm definitely holding long term for the next couple of months and I still believe that Tezos will definitely be able to reach this previous all-time high around $9.16 again. And if you're also interested, guys, definitely check out my Patreon community. Link is down below in the description to get all of my trade setups with my exact entry and exit um, points. So yeah, right now for the immediate short term, guys, as you can see, like I said, this is definitely the most significant support we have to hold right now, around $5. And I think as long as we are not breaking down below it, Everything is still looking fine for Tezos. Otherwise, in the worst case scenario, if you are breaking down below the support again, I think we could maybe go down back to about $4.28 to retest this area right here again. Around, um, yeah, like I said, around $4.28, where we did manage to find some support, as you can see right here. And I don't see Tezos going lower than that, to be honest with you guys. Otherwise, if you are approaching to this area again, I'm definitely keep you updated but right now i think we will most likely go up to about six dollars and thirty to about six dollars and ten cents to this area again to retest all these back holders who are currently sitting and who've been accumulating right here for a couple of weeks actually in this area um between six dollars and ten cents like i said to about seven dollars and fifty cents guys and i think if we are approaching to this area again, we will definitely see a lot of selling pressure coming in because all the people who've been buying in the last couple of months are currently down on their position, guys. And that's why I'm definitely expecting a lot of selling pressure, like I said, when we are approaching to this area, to this resistance layer right here again, around $6.10 to about $6.30. And yeah... Maybe we'll see some kind of selling pressure right here and then we maybe we will go down again to retest the support area around $5 again. But the most important part for Tezos right now is very simple, guys. As long as we are not taking out the support area right here around $5 and as long as we are trading in this range between $5 to about $6.30, I'm still very bullish on Tezos and I, I, will, I believe that we will take out in the next couple of days this resistance around $6.20. And we will approach again to this area around seven dollars and fifty cents again and i'm still very bullish on tezos and pretty sure like i said that we will go up to this area again guys so yeah that was basically it like i said watch out for the support around five four dollars and 95 cents five dollars and otherwise um i'm looking out for this layer of resistance around six dollars and twenty cents if you're enjoying these type of videos please drop a like subscribe to my channel if you have any questions guys just comment down below and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.